He gained all the lava in the back. And so he works with the furnace. The furnace is superheating lava to over 1,100 degrees Celsius. So it is very hot back there. Now I know he does look a little bit silly in the outfit, but he does actually have to wear this. This is 100% real. This is a protective suit. It reflects the heat off of his body. And it's so that when he's opening the furnace doors, he is not gonna get turned into a crispy bacon man. I think it would ruin your weekend, right? long filaments of lava and these get formed in nature when lava has gone off of an edge but then picked up by the wind so it gets blown into these very thin strands here they are named after the hawaiian goddess of volcanoes who is pele except in icelandic these are instead going to get called witch's hairs or nornahau as you can see, they do cool off very, very quickly. These go from orange to black in just a couple of seconds. Because of how thin these are, that does make them incredibly uh, fragile and therefore difficult to find outside in nature. Uh, just because something that small is going to get destroyed immediately outside. Um, all right, so I do have just a little bit more ice here. And so I'm going to put this on the lava. Okay. So I'm just going to add a little bit of pressure on top of it as well. All right, so we got a little bubble going over there too. Watch on the, this side over here, we have some more bubbles. All right, so what is, ha what is happening now is that um, basically, if you notice at the surface of the lava, the surface of the lava has pretty much already stopped moving. Uh, this, uh, the top portion begins to solidify very, very fast. And so now when I put this block of ice on it, that steam is going to get trapped inside of the lava now. As it tries to force its way up, it's going to inflate the lava up kind of just like a big balloon. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, something about lava is that it is um, an incredibly good insulator of heat, and it does create its own heat insulation. So, at the surface of the lava, like here, you can see when I hit it, you know, that, that's you know not liquid anymore. But if I just come over here, I'm just going to flip that over. Underneath, I have plenty of liquid lava. But then now, as I've exposed it out of its insulation, you're going to watch it lose its heat. You can watch that glow start to fade away, and then uh, the lava begins dropping into the black color instead. And then just the longer it's exposed out, kind of the thicker and thicker it's going to get. You can already see just with this, kind of how the texture is a bit different. It's a little bit more thick, it's a little bit more, you know, kind of gooey, it's going to pull, and you can watch it just turn to black within just a few seconds because I pulled it so thin. <laughs> Alright, so this process of how the heat, um, or how the lava is insulating its own heat, that also allows me to get underneath this portion as well. So if I get underneath here, I can gently begin to lift it up. If you notice in the big piece, it's going to start to drag as it pulls as I'm lifting this part up. And then where I actually have the stick, it's going to bend. And so all of this is happening because right now, it's still just the outer portion of the lava. The entire outside, top and bottom, 
are solids. But since it's insulating heat, the middle is going to stay hot and melted for a longer period of time. So that allows me to bend it. And then when I release it, it's just going to completely hold its shape. And then also down here, you can see now that I had exposed it out, you know, it's just a little bit too difficult for me to actually even pull up. You know, it's kind of like a little bit stringy, but you know, it's definitely not as liquidy as it was before. And now the whole thing is basically just going to turn into one big solid piece. So, <laughs> I'll pop the bubbles, I promise. Uh, so this process of how the uh, lava is insulating itself, this is going to be the exact process in nature that causes a lava tunnel to get formed. So in nature, when you have something really fast, so no, you're not going to get an explosion. You need a lot more ice to do that. Um, a lot of ice. Yes, if you had a lot of ice down here, it probably would be a, yeah, definitely a bit more explodey. But also, um, this type of lava, at 47%, it's actually quite low for silica. Um, lavas that have higher silica content are thicker. They're going to be a lot more thicker. They're not as runny. Um, and the thicker your lava is, the more explosive it's going to be because as the gases try to escape, it's just going to 